Hey everybody, it's Krista here and I'm doing my eighth video blog for the summer and we've just finished uh, week number eight I believe in our school and it has been an absolutely amazing trip. We had Amy Solar speak this past week and Rick Pino from Austin, Texas who came in and led worship throughout the week and it was absolutely phenomenal. I have listened to Rick Pino's music for the past couple years and have been absolutely taken away into the presence of God by it. And so to have him come was a huge blessing and a privilege. And yeah, we loved having him here. And the, the, all the ministry nights were amazing. Every single worship time just brought the presence of God into, yeah, where we were at. And it was, yeah, it was a really good week with Rick. And we had Amy Solers speak this week and she spoke on the Holy Spirit, which is a topic that a lot of people look forward to and other people dread because it can be a topic that not everybody's understood and everybody's taught differently on into their home churches or throughout their whole life and so this week we were uh, expecting things to yeah be sometimes accepted great and other times people would question them a lot and so we went into the week with a high expectancy of the Lord showing up and every single day did he show up we uh encountered the Holy Spirit every single day, whether that was through um, the laying on of hands or just personal times, just sitting back and asking God to come and speak to us. And um, yeah, everybody encountered God throughout the whole week. And it was an amazing week to uh, join into the presence of God and see what he was doing. And all throughout the week, people were receiving gifts of the Spirit. Um, yeah, just the things that the Lord had uh, planned for them in advance. And people were very open to receive and very open to whatever God had for them. And even those that uh, were a little skeptical, a little nervous, the Lord broke their boxes and uh, opened them right up to everything that he had for them. And so it was a, such a cool experience this week to have Amy speak, and as it is every every time that she speaks. And <clears throat> Yeah. So yeah, the week was really good. Really, really good. It's probably one of my favorite weeks. Um, yeah second only to Dan Bauman. So Dan will be speaking in a couple weeks and I'm so excited to share with you guys about what he shares about because he is my favorite speaker. I've heard him multiple times and love him every single time. So Team India. Well we had uh, our team time this week, hung out and got dinner together on Tuesday and dinner on Monday together and we've just been bonding together so well. I've loved hanging out with my team. It's one of my favorite teams yet. Uh, everybody is so awesome and so enjoyable to be around all the time and it's just awesome to see the way that everybody is coming together and uh, yeah so we just thank you um, so much for all of your prayers and the ways that you've joined in with me in prayer and uh, yeah financial support <clears throat> my team right now is in need of about a thousand to twelve hundred dollars just as a group um, Kaylee and I are still in need of finances. I'm in a need of about $800 right now and if you would like to give you can go to my blog and on the right hand side of my blog is a donate button so you can check out there and give uh, through that uh, PayPal button and uh, yeah so if you feel the Lord led leading you to give then it'd be much appreciated I'll need that money to be able to go to India otherwise I can't go so $800 is uh, what I need. I've had a thousand come in so far, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, that thousand came in in the past week. So it's such a big blessing from the Lord. And I know that He's providing for me and showing up. So yeah, I just expect that He'll provide whatever else I need because He always does. So thank you so much and just uh, continue to be praying for us as a team. Continue to be praying for um, unity as a team and being brought together, boldness over the team, courage over the team, just to preach the gospel and follow everything that God has for us. We want to completely be immersed in Him and follow what He wants us to do. So yeah, be praying for us and be praying for our time in Dharamsala, India. Um, yeah, I'll get into more about Dharamsala next week, but Dharamsala is becoming a huge center for um, yeah what God is speaking and tons of people are um, hearing the Lord speak to them about it. And so it is... Yeah, there's something on Dharmsala, so I'm excited to share with you guys next week more about it. So have a great week, and I will see you guys later. Bye.